Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I will show you 5 things that you must know about the newest hero, Nathan. He is pretty complicated because of the way his damage works with magic and physical attack stats. Hopefully, this will help you in choosing the right build and emblem for this time traveler guy. Number 1. Physical Attacks Higher Scaling If we look at Nathan's basic attack description, we can see the higher scaling of physical over magic power. It means that if we add 100 physical attack and 100 magic power, his basic attacks will get plus 70 damage from physical while only plus 30 from the magic power item. Same thing with his first skill. Physical attack stats have a stronger effect compared to magic power. While this is opposite from his second skill, it's not really his main damage source. Basic attacks and first skill are his primary source of damage. So if you'll be choosing between physical and magic power items, go for physical to get more damage. Number 2. Penetration and Lifesteal Conversion Nathan's passive can convert physical lifesteal and penetration into magic. Example is Malefic Roar. This item has 35% physical penetration. If Nathan uses this item, he will get 35% magic penetration. Same for Endless Battle. The 10% physical lifesteal will become magic lifesteal if he uses this item. Number 3. Dual Effect on Hybrid Stats since he benefits from physical and magic stats, he gets double effect from hybrid stats. Examples are jungle and support emblem. Jungle has hybrid attack which means he can get plus 25 physical and plus 25 magic power. That tiny physical lifesteal is also converted into magic. Support emblem has hybrid penetration as well. With this talent build, it can give him a total of 36 magic penetration right at the start of the game. So if you prefer those stats, you can use those emblems. Number 4. Passive Stats Nathan has similarities to Claude because of his passive skill. Each unit that is hit with his skills grants him a stack that increases his attack speed by 15% and movement speed by 7.5%. It lasts for 5 seconds and can stack to 6 times. So at full stacks, he gets 90% attack speed and 45% movement speed. Number 5. Unique Basic Attack At first glance, Nathan's basic attack range seems short. But if we take a closer look, we can see that it actually extends a bit farther after hitting a target. And his basic attack damage may look low, but remember, it passes the enemy two times. It has a boomerang effect where it has to go back to Nathan, which means it can pass the enemy twice. So don't be frustrated when you see low numbers with his basic attacks. And those are the things you should know about Nathan's unique mechanic. Now what kind of build do you think can work? Does he need magic items? Is a full attack speed build effective? I think you need to strike a balance with attack speed, cooldown reduction, and damage. For this game, this is the build that I've used. The first two items have cooldown reduction and mana regeneration. In the early game, you'll have to rely on his first skill because of its long range and high damage. Honestly, I think this skill is a bit too strong. It has many good effects that can be wasted if you build attack speed items first. This is where you get your attack speed and movement speed because of his passive. Its range is long enough, making it easy to poke enemies safely. And let's not forget the low cooldown and wide range. After those two items, it's time to pump up his basic attack damage by building Berserker's Fury and Scarlet Phantom. Critical is effective for Nathan because of his unique basic attack. It can pass the enemy twice and both attacks can deal critical damage. The fifth slot is for a defense item. It can be any item that can counter the enemy's main damage dealer. The last slot is Malefic Roar or Blade of Despair. So if you've noticed, I only built one attack speed item. 
it's because he'll be relying on the attack speed of his passive skill. At full stacks, it can give you 90% attack speed and it's like building two wind talkers and one regular spear. That's why you can't build too much attack speed on Nathan. You might hit the limit which means you've wasted an item slot. His ultimate has a short cooldown so use it when taking objectives like tower and turtle. I also didn't use any magic items because of the low magic scaling. His first skill and basic attacks are his main damage source and both have low magic scaling. You'll get more damage with physical attack items. As for his combo, a simple 2-1 can work. You can also initiate with skill 1 because of its fast cooldown. It's also useful when clearing minion waves because it deals damage to its path. Once you have leveled up the skill, the cooldown will be shorter than 5 seconds which means you can maintain your stacks. Like I said, he's like Claude where you have to find an enemy to hit to maintain your movement and attack speed boost. When using his ultimate, don't mind the clone's position with regards to your target. It can reach your target as long as you don't stray too far from where you initially cast the skill. His first skill can be used to check the bush. If you get a stack, that means an enemy is hiding there.
So what can you say about the new hero, Nathan? Is he strong, weak, or just balanced? What's your recommended build? Share your ideas in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.